Hitler likes to meet German children, because to him, they're young soldiers of the Reich. I want to meet Hitler, too. Tell Pop I want to. <laughs> well, right now, he's too busy winning the war. They created the most depraved society the world has ever known. Hi, I'm Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and that was the tagline of the movie I will be talking about today, which is the lesser known Italian Nazi exploitation movie, The Red Knights of Gestapo, from 1977. The plot of the film is set in 1941, at a time when Rudolf Hess, the secretary of the Nazi party, and chosen successor of Adolf Hitler himself, had flown over to England without his leaders even knowing about it, in an attempt to get a signed peace treaty. Even after he had been exposed as a traitor, the head of Hesse's staff, Colonel Werner von Ullan, is still given a second chance with the Gestapo, and now has to complete a mission of bringing out more traitors of the Third Reich. There are still enemies within, powerful hidden enemies, plotting in the dark. They are against the invasion of England. They are against the invasion of Russia. Against total war, against the Führer, and above all, against the SS! He puts together a lavish dinner party with carefully picked women to be enjoyed by all the invited Nazi superiors, while attempting to make them agree to go against their Führer, Adolf Hitler. Every guest at my party will protect you, Fräulein. But you must give us your cooperation. They are all men of great influence in Germany. Think of your participation as a patriot's duty. You monsters! I'm not interested in your opinion, but in whether or not you will obey us. Remove your dress. Strip, you whore! I don't know how familiar you are with the Nazi exploitation genre. So let me just give you a fast rundown of these sick and sadistic movies, mostly produced in Italy during the 70s. Most of these films take advantage of the terrible acts committed by the Germans during the Second World War, exploiting them in the worst way possible, with portrayals of graphic torture, humiliation and rape towards women. Like most weird and rough exploitation genres, Nazi exploitation would also, for the most part, die out after the 70s. The Red Knights of the Gestapo is a shameless exploitation film, in that it does in fact have a story running through it, which is obviously connected to the real life events of the war, but the film is not really made to tell that story. The premise is more or less just used as a platform to display naked women, forced to do all kinds of humiliating sexual acts in order to please the rich and powerful men. Fans of disturbing exploitation films won't have a lot of fun with this one though, as it actually is quite tame on violence. It is more of a Salon Kitty movie than a Women's Camp 119, if that makes sense to you. There is a murder in it, with a female officer getting a police of her private parts, but it's not filmed in a way that makes it shocking, especially for the experienced viewer of brutal films. The most uncomfortable moment, which is up there by all means, is a scene with a little girl involved, but it thankfully ends up being more implied than exploited. Why are you here? Won't they play with you? I will. Come play with me. There are plenty of nudity, of course, as there's hardly five minutes without a titty or two being exposed. But although I did compare it to Salon Kitty, the erotica of this movie is not shot as stylish and arousing as our legendary Tinto Brass does it, which by all means is no easy task to match. But here it's like the director himself had trouble figuring out if he was supposed to shot the scene sexy or shocking, ending up with instead of any of those, just being plain bland. That's not to say that everything about this movie isn't filmed well though, as the cinematography is actually surprisingly good for a production like this. The same can be said about the directing by Fabio Diagostini, well if you look past the sexual stuff that is, who mostly worked as a screenwriter and had only directed two small pictures before this. Although I doubt that the majority of people that have seen this film will agree with me on this, I did think that he managed to avoid the film becoming boring, even if it is filled with dialogue scenes after dialogue scenes, by basically just shooting each scene in an interesting way. The 110 minute running time, with half of it being speaking parts though, 
might become a bit too much for a lot of you since the story is hardly engaging at all. While it does look a bit more classy than what you would expect, I don't actually think that helps the movie, as most of these films are watched due to how dirty and disgusting they can be. For me, all social systems are good to protect ownership of private property. Society's foundation is ownership. <laughs> like all you ladies are allowed to possess what your money comes from. Let's just say that this is as far from a Bruno Mattei movie you can go in this genre. The cast is mostly filled with people you would only recognize if you are very into Italian cult movies of the 70s. But this is of course not a movie you watch for the acting. I must say that I have a curiosity about how do people feel about being involved in such a movie years later, especially the female part of the cast. At the time of making these films, the idea of these having a life years later was not on anyone's mind of course, and I'm sure most of them figured this would go right into obscurity pretty fast. The Red Knights of Gestapo was cut and banned in several countries upon release. In the UK it was outright banned right away, as it also was in Iceland out of all places, before it did get a British VHS release in 1981 from VCL. This VHS was heavily cut though and only had a running time of 80 minutes. I guess that version must be all talk and no action. The release I can recommend getting these days however is the DVD release by the American company Exploitation Digital. From what I've seen it is available for under 20 bucks on eBay most of the time. It has the complete uncut version of the film, it looks as good as this will probably ever look, comes with English audio and even has a few deleted scenes if you can't get enough of your Gestapo fix. The Red Knights of Gestapo is for fans of Nazi exploitation movies only. It's a small curiosity piece of a film that has trouble standing out from the bunch of other Nazi exploitation films of the time that deliver more in the departments of sexual depravity or just pure unapologetic torture. I believe most people would just find this to be boring trash, but even so I managed to stay away from being bored by the film, so even if I'm sure I'm in the minority here, I will still give this one a decent score of 2.5 out of 5. Any chance that any of you out there has actually seen the Red Knights of Gestapo? And if I were to do more reviews of Nazi exploitation films, which ones would you like me to tackle? Feedback is always very welcome in the comment section below, and if you liked this video then there are now nearly 100 other videos on my channel to be checked out. Thanks for your time and I will hopefully see you again next time.